Welcome to YouTube 5 Minutes. Hey there, YouTube 5 Minutes viewers. It's me, Kurt Cobain, the frontman of Nirvana, and I'm here to take you on a journey through my life, from my early days to the whirlwind success of my band. But first, be sure to check out the awesome new merchandise in the YouTube 5 Minutes shop to support this channel and look cool while doing it. Now, let's dive into my story. I was born on February 20, 1967, in Aberdeen, Washington. My childhood was filled with music, as I discovered my love for artists like the Beatles and Led Zeppelin at a young age. When I was just 14, I received my first guitar as a birthday present, and that's when my passion for music really took off. Growing up in a small, working-class town wasn't always easy, and I often felt like an outsider. I found solace in music, which allowed me to express myself and escape the challenges of everyday life. As a teenager, I started playing in various bands and eventually formed Nirvana with bassist Chris Novoselic in 1987. As we began to develop our sound, we became part of the burgeoning Seattle grunge scene, which included bands like Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, and Alice in Chains. Our first album, Bleach, was released in 1989 and gained a modest following, but it wasn't until our second album, Nevermind, that we skyrocketed to fame. Speaking of fame, here's a little joke for you. What do you call a grunge band that's always late? Tardwiana. Now, back to my story. Nevermind, released in 1991, featured our hit single Smells Like Teen Spirit, which became an anthem for a disenchanted generation. The album's success was unexpected, and we were suddenly thrust into the spotlight as the leaders of the grunge movement. In the midst of this newfound fame, I'd like to remind you to check out the fantastic new merchandise in the YouTube 5 Minutes shop. Just like my music, these items are designed to help you stand out from the crowd. As Nirvana continued to gain popularity, we released our third and final studio album, In Utero, in 1993. The album showcased a more raw and abrasive sound, reflecting my desire to move away from the mainstream. Throughout my life, I struggled with various personal issues, including depression, chronic pain, and substance abuse. These challenges often found their way into my music, making it deeply personal and relatable for many fans. Sadly, my life came to a tragic end on April 5, 1994, when I died at the age of 27. But my music and the impact of Nirvana continue to live on, influencing countless artists and fans around the world. As we wrap up this journey through my life, don't forget to check out the incredible new merchandise available in the YouTube 5 Minutes shop. It's a great way to show your support for this channel and keep the spirit of alternative music alive. Thank you for joining me today on YouTube 5 Minutes. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories and insights from history. And remember, as I once said, I'd rather be hated for who I am than loved for who I am not. Stay true to yourself and keep on rockin'.